Acting Chief Prosecutor Heather Zona resigns nine months into the job since being appointed by Guam Attorney General Doug Moylan, along with leading prosecution for general crimes. As shown in an interview with KUAM News back in January, she was heading the newly established Government Corruption Division during its inception. We're going to investigate and prosecute all violations that affect government integrity. And um, that could include bribery or kickbacks or... Um, contract, procurement fraud, nepotism. Those are just some examples that our division will be looking into. Her reason for leaving made public after her resignation letter to the AG was leaked to local media. In her letter, she reportedly points to Moylan's management style and alleges him of unethical behavior. I know there's been a complaint my management style is toxic, this and that. What does that mean? It's the litmus test is are the people being deported that should be deported? Are the meth addicts being put in jail and kept behind jail? Um, are the violent criminals being taken off our streets? Memos provided by the AG himself showing he's been tweaking the prosecutors to follow his tough on crime agenda. One memo saying, quote, that is now your legal policy as prosecutors, your job ratings, promotion potential, and future in the office depends on it. I don't want lazy people in this office. If you think that you can find an easier job at GPA or some other government department, more power to you. But under an A.G. Moylan administration, this is how you're working. One accusation in a resignation letter reportedly accusing Moylan of interfering with the criminal sexual conduct case by meeting and interviewing the victim against the prosecution's wishes. I will not stand for any prosecutor in this office saying things like, oh, you talked to a crime victim and you shouldn't have talked to a crime victim. The attorney general is the public prosecutor in the law. They are my representatives. Every legal document that gets filed has my name on it. And despite her key role, Moylan says her absence is not a huge loss. Would you the, say her, her leaving is a huge loss for your office, though? No, not at all. The acting function, and that's why I put them, and it's not just her, it's all the deputies that I've uh, assigned in this office. They are the command staff, and they're being monitored to make sure that they fulfill the people of Guam's decision in putting me as their attorney. KUAM has learned at least a handful of other key employees are also leaving, including a longtime prosecutor, a civil lawyer and solicitor, senior staff member, child support and enforcement division attorney, and an appeals attorney. That's on top of the waves of employees leaving since he took office. But Moylan not too concerned, saying he's already hiring replacement. A new chief prosecutor will also be announced soon. Zona confirming with KUAM today is her last day in the office, her resignation taking effect next Friday. It's not appropriate for me to comment on my resignation letter. I submitted that to the attorney general, and that's, that's sufficient for me. Um, but it is fine to say on record that I wish my colleagues at the Office of the Attorney General the very best, and um, I support their work, and I think they do good work, particularly given the <clears throat> various conditions that make it difficult to perform that work, including not having enough attorneys, for example. She adds while it's easy to get sidetracked and focus solely on prosecution, she knows the AG's office is charged with representing various government of Guam agencies. Zona says it's important the office performs that obligation, whether it's representing of Guam agencies in litigation or conducting review of contracts or procurement. She says all are essential to the operation of the government of Guam. Matsuki Hirayama, KUAM News.